Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamaica two times and I know it's been like a week or two since I uploaded my last video. That's why I wanted to stop by and give you guys a quick little review of this cute wig that I'm wearing. Um, really affordable. I got it from Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the details in a minute. But before I do, I just want to let you guys know that if you could please like, share, comment, and subscribe, that would help tremendously. I just want a little bit of feedback and interaction on the content that I'm putting out just to make sure that this is the content that my viewers prefer. If there's something that you will recommend, if you want to see pranks or outside things like vlogs and get ready with me's and things like that, let me know. I'm definitely down to do it. And as usual, don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Jamaica Two Times. The wig that I'm reviewing today is from the company Outre. It is a premium doobie wig in the color Deep Violet and the style is a pixie mohawk. So this is what it looks like. I got this from Amazon. Um, it was about $25 after taxes. It comes in a lot of different colors. Um, I think this was like the actual only color color that I saw other than like natural browns and blacks and blondes and things. Um, and I think they may have a blue if I'm correct like a dark blue like this also but um you know me I love the color I had to get a colored one I really didn't want to get a black one and now since I tried it and I like how it is I'm probably going to go back and get a 613 one because you know I love the blondes um but yeah so I'm going to take the wig off so you can see the construction of it so it has two combs for support right here which is what I really like because a lot of short wigs like this for some reason it does, they don't have combs and I don't know why because I used to have a wig like this actually same color different company and I had got it from a beauty supply and it didn't have any weight any um cap, it didn't have any combs so it always slid off but yeah and it has one in the back as well we love a good supportive uh stable wig because one got the time and it has two straps for adjustments and as you can see this will be the front where most of the length is and this will be the back kind of like a layered cut or like a 27 piece if your aunties and grandmas used to wear that then you know what it is um but yeah what i like about this is that it's doobie as you may have seen me mention before in previous videos doobie hair is my always go-to because it's low maintenance it already comes with like a, a bump or like a curl so you really don't have to worry about putting heat to it all the time i probably wouldn't ever put heat to this you see, you just put it on, adjust it, and you can like make it into like a mushroom type of cut, I guess, when it's like, you know, like a Chinese bang type of look right here in the front. I don't know if that makes sense because where I'm from, we call them mushrooms when it's like a flat Chinese bang. It's not like feather in the front, but maybe if where you guys are viewing from or where you guys are from, you may not call it that. But yeah, um, the only point I'm trying to make is that you can like have it combed like a Chinese wing type of thing right here or you can feather it um and because it does say mohawk you can kind of like bring it up towards the center I do like this to be feathered because I do have a big head and I don't want it to look flat I like the dimensions so I like how you know doobie hair you can definitely play around with the volume and that's a good thing um, the only thing I didn't really like about this, but this is like a personal problem, it has nothing to do with the company, is it's kind of short right here. Um, my sideburns probably would have wanted to be shaved because my sideburns are long and thick, but um, I'm in the house. If I, you know, was planning to wear this out, I definitely would cut my sideburns a little bit. Um, my head just made the cut, so I don't really know if it's big head friendly, you know, but my head made the cut. It's cute, so we can't complain. So on the back of here, um, on this card, this care card, it does have a guide on how to handle it. You know, the usual detangle hair from end to root before shampooing, carefully wash in lukewarm water, finger comb it, don't use a regular comb when it's wet. So, you know, you guys all know that. But yeah, this is a really nice wig. Um, I'm definitely going to try other colors. I just wanted the girls to know about this because I was actually debating if I wanted to cut my hair. Um... My hair is bleach 613 blonde and it's been kind of damaged. My natural curly pattern is kind of getting like more wavy. So I was thinking, well, it's the summertime. 
I can just cut my hair. I mean, you know, cut all the blonde and leave this like the black new growth and just wear it like in a curly coil, like afro or something like that. But I just, you know, when it comes to cutting your hair, that's a big step. Your hair is your crown, ladies. So I was like, let me try and see how it'll look with a short haircut first. So that's what had drove me to buy this wig. And I'm glad that I did. I'm really glad that I did. And also this wig is available on other platforms other than Amazon. It's just that Amazon is my go-to because they get the wig to you like in two days or a day or sometimes the same day. Um, this wig is basically like on any online beauty supply retailer. Probably wig types, um, Diva Tress, uh, Glamour Tress, all those. So if you if it's out of stock on Amazon, what I always do is when I'm looking for a wig, especially synthetic wigs when they're out of stock, um, and it's like a name brand company like this, I would just Google the wig. That's why I said the wig type is Pixie Mohawk and the color is Deep Violet. So remember that. You just Google it and once you Google it and you see, it'll show you all the stores that it's available at. That's all I had to say for today. I didn't really, I was going to do a get ready with me, but I ended up going over to TikTok and doing a couple get ready with me videos. I'm trying to boost my... I guess fan base you will call it there so I can have live access and then you know go up from there. I am planning a few more videos for this week so definitely stay tuned and I just wanted to come by and show my face. Um, so if you are viewing this and you do decide to purchase the wig because of my recommendation please tag me like if you post a picture on Instagram or something not because you owe me credit or anything I just want to see all your lovely faces and I want to just see that I'm actually able to influence people to buy stuff. I just it's just like a personal type of quest so yeah, but other than that, everyone have a blessed day. Stay safe and see you next time.